James, congratulations on the film. I uh, really enjoyed it. Thank it you. It's absolutely fantastic. You. Um, you've taken on um, a colossal film here. Um, <laughs> it's absolutely huge. Uh, you've obviously taken on some other big franchises in, in the past as well. Mm -hmm. But you bring this wonderful sort of uh, take on things and you have your own stamp on, on every film that Thank you, you do. That's great. How do you approach that from an uh, sort of a artistic process, really? I think it's almost 100% subconscious. <laughs> Yeah, because you're, you're you, and so as a director, you basically make choices that you think are interesting ones, and that's completely down to your own taste. Yeah. And so uh, tone is a question of, uh, is the most important thing in cinema, and it's a result of like a thousand, a hundred thousand choices you make throughout the production process, and it ends up with being the thing that it is. And so that's kind of, you, you can't help but be, therefore have an imprint of yourself on whatever you do. Um, but, you know, saying that, obviously, this is also, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants here in terms of both Lewis Carroll and Tim Burton, you know, so I, I had a very advantageous starting point, I guess. Excellent. And obviously, it's, uh, you've done special effects and stuff like that before. Sure. But nothing quite like this. No. Yeah. Well, in a weird way, Muppets is almost like an anti-CG movie. I, Muppets was very much like in-camera puppetry, all before the camera itself, and don't do CG because Muppets is about being the real life of puppetry. Um, and this is the opposite, whereby you really want to try and engage the, your brain to make the most of a, a full re, fully realised CG world, which is an, you know, an amazing thing to do, very different. Um, and that's kind of the appeal of this to me in many ways, having done two Muppet films, that I want to do something completely different. And this feels like that. Absolutely. And obviously we've got Sasha Baron Cohen, who yes. uh, you've worked with before. Many, many years ago. But yeah, no, for sure. Ago. And also for a long time. We, I mean, we worked, we worked together in the last century. I worked out the other day. <laughs> wow. um, but yeah, no, and, and it's that great thing about with Sasha that we had such a great time doing Energy and Borat and Bruno for like 10 years together for a long time. And that means you build up a sort of trust over a period of time about, you know, both ideas and character creation and what's going to work. And so on this one, it was lovely to work with him again and create a new character, Time, whereby he would come in, we'd have talks about the look of the guy, the physicality of the guy, how he moves, his voice, uh, what the, his manner and his weaknesses and foibles and that sort of stuff is just fascinating me and then it's that thing whereby Sasha brings so much to the sta stage and so much to the set and then leaves it up to me to choose what to use to make it work and that is a great thing to have that sort of trust. Absolutely. And was he always in mind for the character of Time? Was it? Yeah, because when we came up with the idea, Time is actually Lewis Carroll's idea. In the book, Alice in Wonderland, when Hatter first meets Alice, he says, I I've been stuck at this tea party since last March when Time and I quarrelled. Mm. So to Lewis Carroll, Time was a person. We thought, oh, that's a great idea for a character. Uh, but we already had a bad, uh, ultimate bad guy in The Red Queen, and then Helen is fantastic as a villain. So I didn't really want another villain. I wanted a kind of comedy antagonist, I guess, and really Sasha is fantastic at that, because the character, whilst being funny, also has this great sort of vulnerability. You kind of like the guy, and that's very important to me too. Absolutely. And he's got a great dynamic on, on screen, especially with Johnny yeah. Depp as well, yeah. who is fantastic again, as, yeah. as obviously the Manhattan. <laughs> I was at the press conference the other day, they've obviously got quite a good camaraderie between them. Yeah. Um, how is that well, to control on set? They're sort of friends off screen, so they know each other quite well, and then yeah. you observe people in the real world and how they behave, and then you think that would be interesting on screen too, because it's quite competitive. Absolutely. And so you want to try and bring those two characters to some sort of situation where there's like a, a duel, a standoff. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what we did in this film, and it works really well, I think. Excellent. And um, just going back to, to the film itself, how you got involved, how did it come your way initially? Because obviously uh, Tim Burton was the original director of the first film. Yeah. And then it came to you. Um, yeah. Well, I've been working, obviously, Muppets also made by Disney, so I've been working very successfully and very happily at Disney, and I heard they were uh, thinking of doing a second one of these. And obviously I knew Alice very well from Greg Van England. Yes. And I was very sure about what I would like to do that we were allowed to play in this universe. And so I just said, if you want to do one, I'd be very happy to talk about it. Yes. And, you know, very quickly it becomes apparent that we're talking about the same film and it's like a great thing where it just melds together very nicely and that was it. Excellent. And you're going off into a diff different dimension next. <laughs> For a Johnny... Uh, <laughs> dimension is a good word, yeah, very, sure. very different dimension. Yeah, yeah. I can't quite get my head around it. Sure. And obviously Johnny in depth was involved in that back in the day. Is he, he giving was. you any uh, advice? He was. Who knows? I mean, again, it's a super early days to talk about, so yeah. it's very hard to answer. But this anything's possible. Excellent. Well, congratulations with the film. Enjoy your premiere. Thank tonight. you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.